so I got my package the other day and I totally forgot to like show y'all so I already had secret stories but I got one in the contest so I got the pastel ones and they are so cute um obviously we're already using it you can tell well I can't really there you go back there I have my red ones going that's the vowel team but we're doing mama e today and then we pulled out some more and I'll kind of show you what we did um crap I can't yes I can let me show you their face without showing the kid's name so this kid is an ELL student um you can see where he underlined ER in desert because ER is a terrible horrible no good very bad driver and he just slams on his brakes and goes Arr! and then he circled um a i because when two vowels go walking the first one does the talking he did er right here or right here because they never know what they want to do and he split land form. this is like amazing all these skills um and we've been working on the standard for about three weeks now this student also found sneaky Y right here because sneaky Y steals the capes of E and I sometimes, but only when he's at the end of the word because he's scared he's going to get in trouble. So good. And they just learned that like today. So she found that one. Perfect. I had some people ask me like, how do you know like when to introduce the like secret? Like is there a scope and sequence or whatever? Um, the training I actually went with Katie, um, no. There's no, like, re there's no scope and sequence. There's no, like, you do it on this day or this week, whatever. You pull that secret when they see it because that's active learning. Like, don't wait until you think they're ready. You need to unlock the code. It's all up here, but you have to give them the key to it because if you hold all these secrets back, they're not progressing. So, of course, don't throw, like, 10 secrets at them in one day. And they're not going to master these all at one time. But the secrets are like little stories that they can use to help remember. And even my lowest kids can figure out words based off that secret. The thing I want to stress is like you cannot just get up in front of your class and be like, okay, E-R-R, you are. They're terrible, horrible drivers. They stand on their brakes and go, err. All right, so what's our secret? What's this word? You have to be dramatic you have to be an actor and actress you have to make this fun like if you get up in front of your kids and you look miserable as freak and like you're not excited about it you're not enjoying it how do you expect them to be excited and enjoy what they're doing in their seat like usually like for me most of the time if I'm excited and I'm like pumped and hype they are pumped and hype and they want to do their work for the most part, you do have those, like, you know, those kids that fall out of that range. Like, they, they don't care no matter what you do. But for the most part, my days are better like, when I'm prepared and I'm excited about what I'm doing. Now, I know that everything can't be so fun and exciting. I get that. But the secrets can be because they are funny and they are exciting. And if you, like, act that junk out, they remember it. I promise you, I still have kids that remember stuff from last year. We can do this.